worship. With what's beneath the surface do you love to worship? Is he worth it? Or do you love the chord progressions? And are you thrilled that the worship leader sings so impressive? Do you love the build, the rhythm, but is Jesus lost in the feeling? Is your praise personal or conditional? And do you understand that worship is his gift to you? This isn't how you worship, but it is when you worship. Because when you love to worship, you may go to work, but you come to worship. You feel the warmth of the sun in worship, like thank you God for your blessings, don't be numb to worship. This is not a genre, but a gene. A gene that is present in the DNA of all of the redeemed. We don't worship to be clean. We worship because he cleaned us. It's the last time you picked up his word and said, God, I'm reading to worship. Not just to know how to worship or become inspired to worship, but believing your word is true is a form of worship to you. Sometimes being still is worship. Sometimes shouting loud or bowing down or looking unto the hills is worship. Sometimes you may raise your hands, other times you'll be undone. You may laugh or you may cry so hard no words can escape your lungs. You may be surrounded by the body of Christ or alone in your room seeking the Father of lights. I'm not against a full band, bass, guitars, keys, drums, leads, lows, as long as every pluck, every stroke, every hitting of the keys, a pounding of the drum is done for the honor and glory of the sun, people, God's people. We should love to worship because he loved us first when we didn't deserve it.